Welcome to our channel. The Olympics are traditionally considered a period of sports festival. But not for everyone this holiday ends positively. Sometimes real tragedies occur at competitions. On July 23, 2021, the next Olympics started in Tokyo. This year, the competition is being held in front of empty stands due to the coronavirus. Athletes have to follow numerous rules to avoid contracting COVID-19. In a word, the atmosphere of the sports festival has been spoiled. However, this year is far from the saddest in the modern history of the Olympic Games. Sometimes at the competitions there were such tragic and shocking events that it is difficult to believe in them. We decided to collect the most resonant of them. Stockholm 1912, Portuguese Francisco Lazaro was one of the favorites in the marathon. On the day of the race, it was hellish heat outside, over 30 degrees, and Lazaro decided to cover his skin with fat to avoid sunburn. But the coating violated the natural thermoregulation of the body and after the 30-kilometer distance, Francisco lost consciousness. And after a while he died of dehydration. The death of Lazar formed the basis of the novel, Piano Cemetery, which was written in 2006 by José Luis Pexot. London 1948, Czech gymnast Eliska Misakova is the only one in the history of the Olympic Games to receive a gold medal posthumously. She died on the day the national team of Czechoslovakia became the Olympic champion. Eliska flew to the Games in Britain with the team. But she immediately went to the hospital. The athlete was diagnosed with polio. It was not possible to save the 22-year-old girl. At the awarding ceremony, Eliska's medal was received by her sister Miloslava, who also became an Olympic champion. Rome 1960 the 100 km team race was the last in his life for 23-year-old Danish cyclist Knud Jensen. In the 40-degree heat, Knud, 20 km before the finish line, fell off his bike due to sunstroke and received an open head injury. It turned out to be fatal. Innsbruck 1964. Two deaths mar the Winter Olympics in Austria. They happened before the opening of the Games, but already on the Olympic tracks. First, Kazimir Kai Skspeski. 55, a British Luger of Polish origin, died. His sled flew out of the gutter. And then in a downhill training session, 19-year-old Australian skier Ross Milne crashed. He flew off the track and crashed into a tree. The terrorist attack in Munich in 1972. This is perhaps the most famous and terrible tragedy that happened at the Olympic Games. On the night of September 5, 1972, a group of terrorists from Palestine made their way into the village where the athletes lived and took a delegation from Israel hostage. Negotiations with the criminals lasted for many hours. All this time, the athletes who were at gunpoint came up with their own escape plan. However, the collective efforts never came to fruition. Eleven members of the Israeli national team were killed. The attack also claimed the life of a West German policeman. What happened changed the Olympic Games forever. Since then, the control over the villages where the athletes live has been strengthened, and the competition venues have been carefully guarded. But even these measures could not guarantee complete safety for athletes and spectators. Explosion in Atlanta in 1996. The terrorist attack took place in the Olympic Park A much more massive tragedy almost happened in the United States in 1996. Then a criminal named Eric Robert Rudolph planted an explosive device in the Olympic Park, where at the time of the explosion there were hundreds of people. They were all sports fans who followed the competition. But Rudolph's plan did not work. As a result of his actions, only two unfortunate people died, but 111 people were injured. But why did the terrorists' plan fail? It's all about the heroic actions of the guard Richard Jewell. The man found a backpack with suspicious items in the park and literally forced the police to check it. When the information about the bomb was confirmed, Jewell, along with law enforcement officers, evacuated people to a safe distance. It is terrifying to imagine what would have happened if Richard had not been vigilant. Then the victims would probably be in the hundreds. But the award did not immediately find the hero. After the terrorist attack, there were rumors that the culprit of the tragedy was Jewel himself, who planted the bomb, and then decided to pose as a savior. The guard faced harassment in the media and even went through a series of interrogations. In the end, Richard was acquitted. But the real criminal was caught only many years later. The 1996 Olympics were recognized as one of the most disastrous in the history of the competition.
It is significant that for the first time the IOC president did not say his catchphrase at the closing ceremony. These games were the best in history. Albertville 1992. Downhill competitions were included in the demonstration program of the games. The task of the athlete is to gain maximum speed on a certain section of the track. During the training, the Swiss Nicolas Bachet was killed. At great speed, he crashed into a snowblower. Speed skiing was no longer included in the Olympics program. Vancouver 2010. 12th of February. From the very morning, Vancouver is filled with noise, din, fun. Thousands of fans and athletes from all over the world came to the Winter Olympics. In the evening, a colorful Olympic opening ceremony will take place. And suddenly everything turned black. Death. A 21-year-old Luger from Georgia, Nodar Kumaratishvili, died during a training session. In one of the steepest bends, Nodar's sled rolled over at over 90 miles per hour. The athlete flew over a concrete fence and hit a metal structure. Representatives of the organizing committee of the 2010 Olympics stated that the reason for the death of the athlete was a mistake made by him. Sometimes even heroic deeds have their dark side. This can be judged by the example of the legend of American sports, ski jumper into the water Greg Luganis. At the 1988 Seoul Olympics, an athlete hit his head on a springboard while performing a jump. The wound was quickly treated by a team doctor. Despite a temporary setback, Luganis managed to pull himself together and win an Olympic gold medal. All of America sang praises to him, believing that he had accomplished a real feat. And later, very unpleasant details from the personal life of Greg Luganis came to light. It turns out that the national celebrity carefully concealed his illness, he was HIV infected. Only those close to the Olympic champion were privy to this secret. Nevertheless, he was admitted to the competition. And it was possible to understand the reaction of the athletes jumpers who learned about Luganis's disease. They left the Olympics in broken feelings, in a heavy mood. After all, Luganis's blood got into the pool. Completely unaware of the inhumanity of his act, Luganis, smiling shyly, offered them a belated apology. By the way, Dr. James Puffer, who in a hurry, without gloves, treated the wound of the Olympic champion, also experienced fear. And he still thanks fate, as well as the participants in the diving competition, that everything turned out well and no one got infected. That's all for now. If you like the video, like it, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be the first to know about the release of the new video.